Around the world, but in particular the UK, theme parks are now fully reopened for the 2020 season. However, one of the questions still remains at large, and that is, are the theme parks safe? So join me today, Tom Derrick, as we investigate which parks are the safest, which are the least, and whether it is safe enough for you guys to go. And at the end of this video as well, we've got a vote from over 100 people on my Instagram, asking whether they feel comfortable with going, so make sure to stay tuned to this video. But just before that, please make sure to like, subscribe and comment down below as well as clicking that bell to stay up to date with all of our latest videos across the channel. And if you are a massive enthusiast of the channel, please make sure as well to follow our Instagram, Facebook and Twitter so you can join in with many of these competitions as well as influencing our videos like this one today. But with no further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so we're going to start off with focusing on my home parks, which are Legoland, Cheltenham, Fort Park and Orton Towers. And then afterwards, we're going to go on to the bigger parks and fort, including Universal, Disney World and etc. Which means that first up, we've got Legoland Windsor. And before even the coronavirus was around, Legoland Windsor has always been great at keeping the public safe due to it being a family orientated park. And after the coronavirus hit and we're back over here at the parks, it has been absolutely no different. They've got markers all along the floor, one way system, Ride operations are amazing and honestly, no other life, this has to be the best park I've ever seen with coronavirus. And then entering into the park, honestly, temperature check, so quick, so efficient, bag checks amazing like always. And then getting in, you need a free ticket and a really strict debt checking them. Unlike the other parks, they're going to actually make you wait because my wife wasn't working and I first went. And I had to wait there for like 10 minutes to get this ticket up before they didn't even like let us in. Honestly, amazing. I've got to say, well done to Legoland. Rides, on the other hand, I feel like they could open a few more. Stuff like the Haunted House Monster Party wasn't open. And one of my biggest criticisms of all park is that they can't really do a good job of cattle pen queue lines. So maybe one of the reasons why they close it, but they can always stagger the queue lines. It's such a big queue line in Haunted House for its small capacity. I feel like they could always stagger a bit more. However, also sitting on the rides can be quite difficult as well on that. But that's my only criticism. I mean, really harsh towards the park. But overall, Legoland Windsor was amazing. But unfortunately, the other parks didn't impress me as much as that one did. However, second on my list, which was obviously after Legoland Windsor, is Orton Towers. Now, this park, obviously, it's a lot bigger than all the parks, so you'd expect for it to be obviously a lot better because there's so many different systems you can take. The grounds are huge, they can like call off areas. And don't get me wrong, it was absolutely phenomenal. The Caterpen QI has apparently been really sorted out now. They've got lots of conditions going on. The entrance, the way you go into that park, was absolutely amazing. It kind of, when you go through the entrance into like Tower Street, just before that, when you go into the like entrance booths, you kind of enter down and they put you in different rows depending on like your group of people and stuff. You go through and it's like all one system until you get into the tower street itself. Around shops and everything, merchandise is the same rules. Don't touch it. If you do touch it, put it into a basket at the end so then they can quarantine it for a few days. Rides, all of them actually open we went. Wicker Man staggered the rows, which I don't know if they do that anymore. I think they don't. I think they've worked out a way to do it now. But with Wicker Man, literally, the queue was like two hours for us to get on that ride, which is a bit disappointing. And if you want to do the vlogs from all of the parks since they've been reopened, check them out. The link will be up there for each one of the parks I talk about. You'll be a link for the video, which it has got the whole vlog, so you can see all the conditions. But Nemesis Inferno, I mean, Nemesis was the only good ride there with conditions like getting you on there really quickly because they let in one boat at a time, but then they kind of staggered it so you would everywhere can be filled. However, it's not so much of a like kind of pushing on ride, not like so close on the ride. So that was really, really good. But then we go get into the two worst parks. And honestly, out of all parks that I've been to, these two parks here, one of them actually changed from being really good to not so good. And the other one, since I've been, it's just been really awful. And I'm really disappointed that Merlin could allow two parks to be really good. One park in particular, Legoland, amazing. And then just let these two down. And I feel like mostly, probably, it's because of the people there. Not the staff obviously you find it hard to reinforce some of these parks, but these two parks are Chesington and Fort Park. And if we're going to start off with Chesington, now this park, of course, used to be amazing. If you saw my first ever video when it was just a zoo day, these are a system where you used to drive them into a car, you used to take the temperature and stuff, and give you a band for every day, which I think was really good. They're kind of a lot more quick and efficient than the other parks, and I thought that all the parks would lead on to that. And then we went in the park, lots of distancing, we learned about the shops and everything, however, so when I last went last weekend, it was honestly so, so awful. And I don't know if it's like a one-off, but they let so many people in. They checked when you went in, but just some areas of it was bonkers. If you watched the video, it was honestly so packed and stuff. And it was just ridiculous, really. I felt like they just pushed the limits too far in Chelsea now. They were really bad at like making you queue up. They were not very, like, sticking to the rules. 
And yeah, really disappointed. I think they're letting more people want to use the coronavirus as like an excuse sort of thing to close the park early, to close some rides of that. I just think, yeah, really, really disappointed with Chesington. But one park which, of course, I understand pretty much more why it has been not made much distance in and stuff like that is Foot Park. Now, this park has always been, of course, a place for teenagers to hang out and stuff. And it's quite a lot of staff also being around sort of age groups to kind of tell people just distance in the queues. So when it first opened, obviously, like Nemesis and Inferno had the staggered queue line, but there was lots of complaints, so they changed it, which was really good. And I feel like that, again, has brought so many queues which people aren't so distant. And I say, I'm not an angel for not so distant. And obviously, if you see some of our vlogs, we aren't the greatest at not so distant. However, we try our best, and around other people, which I'll be really respectful towards them. But with stuff like Fort Park, some people are like not sticking to it. The teenage, teenagers are kind of messing around quite a lot around it, which of course is Fort Park. You should expect that when you go there. But the staff really need to reinforce it there. And what we do in Nemesis Inferno, if you do it with all rides, that'd be amazing. But still looking at the queue times now, literally there's 100 minutes queues for pretty much everything over at the park, which I think is absolutely disgraceful. However, I just hope that as it gets further into all this sort of opening of the parks, they do learn to get it better. And they have opened more rides like Rush Now, Rumble Rapids, which I'm really happy about because that's obviously getting people back in there. But it is the summer coming, and if they can't really deal with capacity all the time, then that could be a massive problem towards the park. And then finally, we're now going to go on to the parks over abroad. And now, these I can't talk a lot about because I haven't really been there and saw them in person. But I've seen lots of videos about them. And in particular, stuff like Disney World, which is now actually open in phases. They've opened different lands at different times. Like Magic Kingdom opened first. Well, I think then Hollywood and Judo's and Animal Kingdom. I think Epcot also opened with, uh, with Magic Kingdom. So I feel like that's really good kind of to introduce you back into the parks. And looking at, obviously, Florida, it's not the greatest. And I feel like... Maybe it's not right of there to open such a big theme park because the, obviously the people who go into that one is a lot more than going to the ones in the UK because in the UK it's like a little trip out but in stuff like Florida it is a big holiday and people will go for a few days. The hotels I think are open, I don't know for sure if they are but I think they are and inside the park there's so much room but when everyone's cramming in for those shows or doing whatever I feel like that could really lead to a lot of problems. As same with Universal as well. With Universal I don't know a lot about it but from what I've heard and stuff I don't actually know if Universal's open. I think it is actually. Yeah, it is open actually, so I'm out of my mistake. But it's about the new Jurassic World coaster and stuff. I feel like maybe that, everyone cramming around that could cause a lot of, like, kind of people spreading stuff out. But one of the rules that I'm really happy with there is that you have to wear a face mask all day. And I don't really know what that feels like. I tried it once over at Warwick Castle when that reopened. And that was also good. But actually, wearing a face mask all day is fine in the UK because it's not so hot. But imagine sweating in America heat over at the park. And I feel like that could cause a lot a lot of sunburn a lot of sweating and it could overall cause a lot of people wanting to take it off and if you take it off then you spread the disease so i'm not 100 percent sure about america at the moment and whether it is right for them to reopen however now is the time that we give you the vote results and for people on our instagram saying is it worth going to the theme parks at the moment there's many votes and obviously everyone has different opinions there was, there was actually 63 people who actually voted and the results were 52 people have voted that they feel safe over at the park, at parks in the uk and 11 people have voted no now, I didn't know about this thing at Fort Park until a bit after, so obviously it's not going to be completely accurate. But you can see the majority of people actually feel safe about going, but there's a few theme park enthusiasts as well on there. So, some people obviously go to theme parks anyway, and I'm going to give my full opinion on it, because at the end of the day, I felt like the parks have done the best that they can. Now, there's so many places around the world at the moment, and like, going back to normality and everything, the shops, the towns, the centres, the cinemas, and like that, it's like open now. And in my opinion, I think theme parks have done one of the best out of all of them. Like many shops and stuff, people just stand so close. Schools, everyone's like sitting really close to each other now. And it's just like the world is going back to normality, but theme parks are far still finding the way to keep up that work, which I'm stuck with. And even though not everything like face masks have to be at all times in the UK parks, and obviously in America it's not, they have found a way still to try keeping you. And of course, it's mainly up to you, isn't it, really, guys? Looking after yourself and everyone else, because it's not just you at the parks, it's everyone else who may feel obviously nervous about it, stuff like that. But if I was you, if you were nervous about going to a park that like, really were concerned about it, I personally wouldn't go. However, if you did feel like you wanted to give it a go or you weren't sure, go and have a look at it. Go to like Legoland first, it is the best. And if you're comfortable with that, then go to stuff like Fort Park as well and Alton Towers. And if you are in America, try some of the smaller parks, maybe like Bush Gardens or Sea or something like that, before you do finally go to like, the bigger ones like Disney World. However, I think it's where I'm going to start now because it's been a really good video. I hope you all enjoyed it. I've got kind of an informative video because... All the places have now really reopened and I filmed a vlog from each one of them to so check them out. Playlists coming on very shortly. And yeah, my name is Tom Derek and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.